I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard went against the Alliance and the Council and took the Normandy away from the Citadel, and en route to Ilos, stopped by the asteroid X-57 as it was on its way to make a collision with the planet Terra Nova. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. We are nearing the end. This is probably, uh, we probably only have two episodes left after this one, which is crazy. In this episode, we are going to tackle the rest of the Bring Down the Sky DLC that we can find here on X57. We are still level 28, uh, which <laughs> is starting to stress me out a little bit. Uh, but we're going to do the best we can, so let's jump into it. We got a lot to do in this episode. Uh, we found that the Batarians were taking over this, this asteroid that had been mined hollow and was supposed to be used as an orbital station. Uh, but Batarians took it, and now they're, they're making it crash into that planet over there, which has a human colony on it, one of the biggest in the galaxy, of 4.4 million humans. Batarians obviously... Uh, not big fans of that. We also heard rumors of missing uh, engineers. So we said that we would help look for them. And that's what we're going to do by heading up this mountain. We also heard, potentially, that one of the leaders is a Batarian named Balak. And that the other Batarian actually seem afraid of him. So we can head into the shack, grab an aid station, and some logs here. This computer is filled with operation logs and personal journals for a small pirate music station operated by X-57's engineers. It includes scripts for several promotional me messages, none of which appear to have been recorded. Radio X-57, rocking this rock since 2182. Radio X-57, when your world seems hollow, we help you touch the sky. Radio X-57, talk hard. Radio X-57, your last best hope for rock within 300,000 kilometers. There's also another display here. Looks like we can turn on the radio. Love this song. Okay, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave now. I'll leave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was, that was weird. I just got, I just got into it. That's all. But anyways... That was the X-57 radio station, but there's another survey station down here that we're going to go to. We already tackled this one in the first episode, and we already got the uh, one of the torches off. There are two other torches that we have to turn off. You hear me? Oh, yeah. All kinds of interference. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. And that is Katie Bowman. fix it. In the meantime, just keep doing <laughs> But let's head to that survey station real quick. As we arrive, I, we don't see any bodies outside like we did last time, which could be a good sign. There is a secure crate that we can decrypt. And heading inside the hut. Oh, no. Another aid station and the body of Seaheims. This body has severe burns and shows signs of major concussive trauma. Mercifully, mercifully, the explosion would have killed her instantaneously. This is Dr. Himes. They found me, damn Batarians. I can hear them out there prowling around, trying to find a way in. It sounds like they're attaching something to the door. If I don't make it, tell my family I love them. Oh no. The explosion set off. That's the door over here. That's why we were able to just walk in, is because they destroyed the door. Anyways, we can now head to... Uh, stop it! Our second fusion torch. This one. Can you not? This one has a ton of proximity mines all around it, which we were told that we had to be careful around. That you can't turn them off. We'll have to get out of the Mako to actually be able to get into this next facility. As we approach... Yet again, we'll be targeted by all of the turrets, which we're going to destroy as many as we can for a thousand XP each one we destroy. Ground penetrating radar detects anti vehicle demolitions nearby. Proceed on. Go around these mines as much as possible. And we just have the last turret left. 
which is good XP, maybe a thousand each time we destroy one of these. There we go. So you need to be super, super careful not to accidentally drive the Mako into this area here. If you do, you will have you will have a little bit of a problem. You will just explode. It is instant death. We need to get out of the Mako. We're actually going to switch to a sniper rifle as we approach here. And we're going to try to crouch and watch out for these mines. These are proximity mines. We want to be super careful. Now, as we approach, we'll actually see some Batarian are going to leave and start heading towards us. So we pulled out the sniper rifle so that we can hopefully hit them a little bit better. We need to watch this proximity detection as much as we can and find a safe route throughout the area without setting off any of these mines here. The sooner you are able to get over to where they are, you can actually turn off a blasting cap that's outside. So we can actually just go. We don't have to stay crouched. We need to watch this proximity detection in the lower right corner. Make sure that that does not hit anything. Watch out for the rockets as we go. It is possible as well to actually throw them and send them into the blasting caps themselves, which is something that I definitely wouldn't mind doing. And let's go ahead and just disarm these traps real quick. Easy. Now we could take the Mako in if we really wanted to. Being able to switch to sniper rifles without any training is such a such a weird change that they've made in Mass Effect 1. That's actually made it a lot easier to deal with certain things. Obviously, we didn't really need to. Like, our pistol would have done just fine as well. But still, we're going to go ahead and save the game. And enter into the second fusion torch. Obviously, just like before, we're going to have to deal with some Batarians. Unfortunately, none of these lockers are open. Now, a cool thing about these levels is, while they are similar to things that we've seen before... Oh, no, another rocket drone. We're going to go ahead and sabotage that. Watch out for the ones that were above us as well. These, all of these levels were actually designed, uh, they did a, like, a level design challenge thing. And that's how all of these came to be, which is why they're so different than ones that you might see while you're walking around. Now, we need to watch out, because there are the rocket drones. And it just a, a room full of enemies here. See if we can hack one of these drones. There we go. That one's hacked. And now it is on our side. Shooting at Batarians. you love to see it. There's two more upstairs that we need to go deal with. Let's go ahead and get those guys dead. Another rocket drone. We're going to go ahead and actually sabotage this. Unfortunately, missing with Tally. Three more enemies left, including this rocket drone. We do want to watch out for its rockets. Make sure it doesn't hit us. After heading upstairs and taking care of all of the rocket drones, we can head into this room in the back. Which it looks like we'll have yet another torch we can disable. Are you there? You've got to hurry. You really pissed them off. Their leaders setting charges everywhere. I think he's going to blow this whole facility. Get away from there! Don't shoot, please! No! <laughs> Who's shutting down the torches? I won't ask you again. Find this problem and deal with it. Get her out of here! Well, that doesn't sound good. So, about these drones here, if... I believe if you empty the entire room before you come up here, they actually won't activate, which means less XP for you. So I what I like to do is I come up here first, kill all of the drones, because the other guys won't follow you. They'll stay on they'll stay on the floor below. And then uh this way you get all of the XP. In the back area on the, the first floor here, we can come in and find a weapons locker. And that's everything that we can get at Fusion Torch 2. So we are out of here while well, and this crate. Now we are out of here. 
So before heading to our third fusion torch, we're going to head to this survey station that's in the back here so that we can find all of the engineers that we were asked to find. And as we approach this, we discover yet another body, the body of our Montoya. It looks like he died from a single shot through his helmet, likely from a sniper. Whoever killed him didn't even bother to search his body. There's still equipment in his service pack. And we get a Prodigy 9, which is pretty good. And the survey area is just a little bit in front of us. Where the game gives us clues that there are footprints towards the body that we already found. But we can at least grab the items that await us in here. And the station logs. Survey Station 2, final entry. Communications are down and there are non-corporate dropships landing near the main facility. There were flashes of light over the horizon. I can't be certain, but I'd guess it's heavy arms fire. As per emergency protocol, I'm arming the defense drones. I'm not waiting for my pickup. I'm going to investigate. And we immediately are going to get attacked by, you guessed it, defense drones. And only one is left. Let's go ahead and pop marksman and finish that off. Unfortunately, those are only worth 144 XP each. Oh, lame. And we finished the quest. We found all three of the missing engineers. Fortunately, we don't get any XP for that quest. Whatever, dude. So let's go to the final fusion torch and shut this thing down so it doesn't crash into Terra Nova. And like usual, we're going to have a bunch of turrets sitting outside waiting for us, which means free XP, baby. Let's go. All turrets gone. Mako stuck somehow. That's... You, you hate... You hate to see it. Where... What just... Uh, I, yeah, what happened? Anyways, we can head into this facility. We're going to go ahead and save, save our game here. Before heading in, though, as always, more Batarians await us. Release the Varen! Varen apparently gonna start coming after us now. There's the Varen. We're gonna go ahead, the Batarian War Beast, and we're going to Singularity. Get that thing out of my face. Another one on its way. It looks like... Was that Liara just annihilated it? Or was that Tally's shotgun? I think it might have been the shotgun. Those things just melt. Only one shock trooper left. We're going to go ahead and... Pop barrier. We start getting a little low here. And the Batarian Shock Trooper's down. That's an extra 335 XP for us. Area Beautiful. Go ahead and open this door on the first floor. To grab our items. Up on the second floor. As always, where we need to go to turn off this third and final fusion torch. I do recommend saving before doing that. And let's go ahead and turn off the torch. Now we can head out of here, and we're going to have a surprise when we head down. Remember, Balak in that little scene that we saw Hold with Katie. Hold right there. This doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Ah, there he is, Charn. He sent his right-hand man, Charn, to come talk to us. Don't come any closer. We can do this the hard way, or we can end this peacefully. I didn't think you Batarians knew the meaning of the word. Look, I'm just doing my job here. Hijacking this rock wasn't my idea. I signed on to make a little profit. A quick slave grab, nothing more. This isn't just a slave grab anymore. Millions of people are going to die. Don't you think I know that? I'm just following orders here. If it were up to me, we'd have already left. Hmm. Well, it's not too late. You can still leave. I don't think so. Bollock would skin me alive and sell my hide out of spite. Crazy bastard. This whole mission's gone to hell and I'm gonna pay for it. So why do you listen to him? Good question. I had a bad feeling about this from the moment we landed. Now Balak wants you dead. And what Balak wants, Balak gets. I can't change that. So you have an option here. You can charm or intimidate Charm. And he's pretty low. Uh, it, it, I, my intimidate's not high at all, and I'm able to do it. Um, so that 
you don't have to attack him. So, for the purposes of our story, let's let's uh let's just show what happens if you if you charm or intimidate him. Do you always want to be second in command? Get me out of here and I'll take care of Balak. Then you can start giving the orders. Huh. An interesting proposal. It certainly has benefits over the current situation. Shut it down. This is Balak's problem now. I hope you're as quick with a gun as you are with your promises. For both our sakes. Balak will get what's coming to him. And so will you if I ever catch you in human territory again. Are we clear? Perfectly. Balak's holed up in the main facility. You'll need this to get in. Don't underestimate him. He's a mean bastard. Let's go. We're getting off this rock. And just like that, we were able to get Charn to stand down. But for the purposes of hitting level 30, we ain't doing that. So for the purposes of XP, we're going to attack him. It actually doesn't matter storyline-wise if, if you are able to charm him or intimidate him. Either way, you're going to be able to go to the main facility and Charn never, you never see him again throughout the series. So it doesn't really matter. So XP. That's reason enough for me. Damn it. And Don't let's leave. absolutely murder them with a big singularity. And then we can take down this Baron and the rest of his troops that seem to uh, want to come after us. Charn with big shields there. Doing a ton of damage to me. We're going to go ahead and put him into a stasis here and a warp from Liara. Defeating Char nets over a thousand XP. Of course, we have more enemies in the back here as well. Only one more remains of Batarian Sniper in the back here. Oh, apparently one snuck by me. We found a key card to the main installation on Lieutenant Charn's body. We'll go ahead and take his key card. Oh, it's just a grenade. It looked like an enemy. Well, that sucked. So close, my friends, to level 29 now after that battle. That was quite a bit of XP. So, like 15,000 XP, basically, from that. Well worth it. So let's go ahead and back to the Mako, and the only place that we can go now, my friends, is the main facility. This planet has, or this asteroid has such a beautiful skybox with Terra Nova in the background. And as we approach the main facility, we will find a ton of turrets, including some that actually aren't stationary. But hey, that's XP, baby. Taking down these ones that are on uh, little moving platforms is actually pretty easy. Defeating these turrets should, if I've done the math correctly, which I probably did not, should finally get us to level 29. And I did not do the math correctly. I was... Are you kidding me? Uh, well, all we can do now is head inside to the main facility and finish up the Bring Down the Sky DLC. Heading in... Seems like... Get a first aid station. Some Oh, we see blood immediately on the ground. Looks like we're going to have our work cut out for us here. A ton of enemies already as soon as we come in. We're going to go ahead and AI hack this defense drone right in front of us. And it's going to start doing its work on this Batarian trooper here, I hope. We were able to destroy the Batarian trooper and the defense drone. And there we go, finally level 29. It only took seven years, but we did it. We have a lot of work to do here, a lot of enemies to kill. So hopefully we can start putting a solid dent into level 29. We need a ton of XP. There's no possible way we are going to hit level 30 in this playthrough, uh, unfortunately. Go ahead and max out our throw there. Liara, we're going to put more points into her barrier. And some points into shotguns for Tally. And that will be it for those two. Oh, as a bunch more get called in for backup, it would seem. 
And the final engineer falls. Looks like we got a ton of XP for that. More enemies on the other side. Let's see how big this main facility actually is. This room being huge and super cool. Go ahead and shoot that just in case. Looks like there's a room here with a bomb inside. We can't get in through this way. We have one more enemy, it looks like, on our sensors in this room here. Apparently he wants us to die. It does not look like we're gonna do that. The final battalion New goes down. Human. You're almost more trouble than you're worth. Let the hostages go, and maybe you'll live long enough to explain yourself to the council. I don't answer to the council. Or do you? I'm leaving this asteroid. If you try to stop me, I'll detonate these charges, and your helper and her friends are all going to die. You don't get to leave, Balak. Not after what you've done. What I've done? This is nothing compared to what's been done to the Batarians. We've been forced into exile, forced to survive on what we can scrounge up. It's been like that for decades. Why take it out on these people? They didn't do anything to you or the Batarians. Didn't do anything? Aside from colonizing a world that could have been ours? Aside from using resources that should have been ours? We were left to defend ourselves, but the humans were stronger than us. We knew that. The Council knew that. It didn't matter. It was you. You and your kind are the only reason we're in this position. How does killing innocent people make up for that? We had no other options. Sometimes you need to get someone's attention before they'll listen. Is that what Elysium was? A way to get our attention? Well, you got it. And when we responded, you ran like cowards. Now you want to start it all over again. Enough! You couldn't possibly understand. Actually, you just don't want to understand, and I'm done wasting my breath. Now, if you want your friends to live, I suggest you step aside. We have a choice here. We can either let him go or attack him, and attacking him, of course, would bring us more XP, and that is what we need. However, this option is something that will directly affect Mass Effect 2 and 3, so we're gonna let him go to save the hostages. You can go, but this isn't over. I'll find you eventually. Maybe, but I made sure you won't follow me today. Those charges are still on a timer. Better hurry if you want to save your friends. He keeps saying friends, I don't even know them. So we have two minutes to shut down three explosive charges. We should get on that right away or else we'll be having some problems here. We also have these defense turrets that need to be dealt with right away. We're going to go ahead and uh, hack one of them. Run upstairs. Pop barrier. Go get this charge real quick. Disarm that. Perfect. We need to destroy this turret here. Perfect. Now we still have two more that need to be disarmed. We only have a minute left. We head down here, we can find another one. And more drones that are still shooting at us. Go ahead and finish off one of them. See if we have time to destroy the second one here. Get 
Perfect. Let's hurry up. We got 30 seconds. Head upstairs. Disable this bomb that we saw through a window earlier. 20 seconds remain. There we go. All three disarmed. All demolition charges have been deactivated. He left. Is that... is that all right? Letting him go was better than the alternative. I thought you were going to stay someplace safe. I... there might have been something I could have done to help. I thought I should be here. I know this asteroid better than anyone. You did it. Another hour in our course would have been irreversible. I ran the numbers, Shepard. X-57 would have struck near the capital city, the most densely populated region. But that's not going to happen, thanks to you. Is Katie in here? Is she all right? Is her team? Uh, I don't know. Balak was holding them hostage. I let him go to save them. Let a terrorist go or sacrifice innocent lives. I'm glad that's not a choice I had to make. Is that... Will you get in trouble for that? I mean, he could do the same thing somewhere else, couldn't he? Yeah, he could. Balak seemed like a practical man. Practical, but callous. I'm sure if he'd been in my place, Miss Bowman would be dead now, along with all the terrorists. But I'm not gonna sacrifice people who happen to be between me and my target. So what happens now? The bad guys get away? Balak gets away today, but we'll still be after him tomorrow and the day after that. Me, my crew, and every other crew in the Alliance. He'll run and he'll hide, but eventually he'll slip up and we'll get him. Bad guys never get away, Simon. Not unless the good guys give up. Well, I wouldn't want you after me. Shepard, thank you for my grandchildren's lives. I don't think I'll stick around, though. Not with the team gone. Too many ghosts. It's time for me to get back and spend some time with my family. Before I go, I'd like to offer you something. Maybe you'll have more use for it than I will. As lead engineer, I get some quality items. Take your pick. You've earned it. So we can choose Quarian armor. We can choose armor, uh, human light armor, human medium armor, human he human heavy armor. And whatever you pick, you're going to get the best thing, whatever that is for your level. So he has an Omni tool, though, and I think we're going to pick that up. I know it's a lot to ask, but that Omni tool of yours, I could really use something like that. Shepard. I think I mentioned that you saved my kids and grandkids. What's an Omni tool compared to that? Take it, with my blessing. I hope you get good use out of it. One more thing. You asked me to look into your missing engineers. Have you found them? Yes, all of them. Their bodies, anyway. Oh. I... I see. Well, then. I guess it's better than not knowing. Take care of yourself. Be well, Shepard. We owe you. And good thing we did, because we get the Savant X, one of the best Omni tools in the game. Look at how good that is. That tech cooldown bonus almost maxed out. We can also finally release the hostages. Hello, friends. <laughs> I can't believe you let Balak go to save us. I half expected you to just let us die, sacrifice the few for the many. Then I'd be no better than the Batarians. Besides, Balak won't get away with this. I know who he is now. He can't run forever. <laughs> you sound like my brother. He was always so stubborn, but always willing to do the right thing, no matter what. Your brother was the one Balak killed? Yes. Aaron, he was the one who convinced me to join the team here. Said it would be an adventure. I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I should see to Aaron. I understand. You've been through enough today. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. Oh, I don't even know your name. Shepard. Commander Shepard. Thank you, Commander Shepard. You're not exactly what I expected, but thank you. You're welcome. Now, the romance theme is actually playing now, oddly enough. What can you tell me about the Batarians? What were they hoping to achieve with all this? I don't even think they knew. When they first arrived, 
They were talking about getting us back to their ship. Wanted to sell us as slaves. When Balak showed up, everything changed. It was his idea to redirect the asteroid. Said it was the will of the Batarian Rebellion. Whatever that is. They followed him quickly enough, but... I, I don't know. I don't think they're all as fanatical as he was. That was a brave thing you did, Kate. Contacting me on the radio? Risking your life? Stubborn and determined runs in the family. My father was in the Alliance back on Earth. I think he was disappointed none of us kids signed up, but... He'd be proud of Aaron. Sorry. <laughs> I just... <laughs> How did the asteroid get all the way over here? And why wasn't someone alerted sooner? The asteroid was scheduled to arrive in a day or two. Balak just sped it up. This rock is full of valuable minerals, but it was too far from Terra Nova to be profitable, so we attached some fusion rockets to it and drove it back. It was all going smoothly until... We'll get everything back to normal soon enough. <laughs> Almost everything. I know she said that she had to go see Aaron, but apparently we just You've been through a lot. have a lot to I'll talk about. So long, Kate. I appreciate that, Commander. Goodbye. Well, I'm glad we were able to save them. Still, though, I feel pretty bad about her brother, who she just she didn't even try to save. She just kind of turned her back on them and was like, yeah, what what are you going to do, you know? Is that Aaron? Oh, yeah, that's Aaron, all right. Thank you again, Commander. You've done more than you know. Thank you so much. No, I, I, I know what I did. I did quite a bit. So we can head out of here. It looks like our job in the Bring Down the Sky DLC is done. Simon will be sitting here as we leave as well. We can talk to him if you'd like. You can't imagine how much you've done for all of us. I can I can kind of imagine. I just fought off it. Well, it, it's no big deal. And if we look at our journal, it'll say that we rescued the human prisoners and disabled all the fusion torches. The team will evacuate to Terra Nova and send in a repair crew to get the asteroid functional again. It is complete. Uh... You can safely free the human hostages now that the charges have been. And uh, that's it. So he survived this assignment. And how much XP? Oh, wow. We are not going to hit level 30. That's so sad. I've done literally everything in the game. That bug just... The bug that, did, that shouldn't have been there kind of screwed over my entire run. My friends, let's get out of here. Back on the Normandy, the only thing that we have left in our journal is Race Against Time Sovereign. We need to go to Ilos, use the Moo Relay to get there, and hopefully stop Saren before he's able to activate the Conduit, whatever that is, and take down uh, Saren and the Reaper of Sober. That is quite a goal, and I believe that we only have two episodes left of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which is super cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, I've, I've, I've loved making this series, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this series as well. Thank you for watching. Huge shout out to all of you watching in the premieres. Sincerely appreciate you guys. And uh, never give up, never surrender to Balak, the Batarian terrorist. Bye, everyone.